This is what happens when your rectifier fails on the front straight. So what exactly happened we don't know but Gary at Speakeasy Moto thinks that it wasn't getting enough airflow and it was getting too hot. And it makes a lot of sense if you look at the location of the OEM rectifier versus where the rectifier was now. In its new location the rectifier was getting cooled down by hot air so I decided to switch it over to where the Kawasaki race team suggests that you put it. I didn't have the bracket that they wanted me to use but I just cut up a piece of aluminum to make it work. I couldn't find the exact part number that they wanted me to use but it's okay because this is super easy and it's not expensive at all. Just do it with stuff you have around the garage. If you have a stock wiring harness, you might not need to extend it like I did, but in case it doesn't reach, all you have to do is get some 14 gauge wire, solder it in place and make sure it reaches and then put some protective sleeving to make sure that it doesn't get damaged by the heat of the engine. At this point I had already drilled out the holes so that I can insert the rubber grommets and then I used this piece of aluminum with threaded inserts so that I can then mount the rectifier to it. This may not be the smartest call if you have a street bike but realistically those connectors are supposed to be waterproof and this just gives a lot more airflow to the rectifier so it'll keep it cooler and prevent it from failing. Hey thanks a lot for watching. I know this was a short video but it needed to be done so I can continue to do track days.